hi everyone and welcome back welcome to my another playlist which is uh, how to become a ninja developer uh, we were already talking about it this is these are just like a couple of more videos i want to add this playlist which uh, are really important so in this video in the last video we talked about how you can dockerize your applications like how to get familiar with the docker that's also important aspects for the developers and that is one of the tool which you must have on your desktop like docker desktop you can install and you should work with the docker containers at least for the external database and external uh, applications like postgres rabbitmq redis or you can also create a docker file and spin up your own node.js application on the container okay what is the next topic next topic is all about uh, cicd continuous integration and continuous delivery so you might have heard about uh, these in your enterprise projects in your uh, startup projects that you have a gitlab ci github actions Jenkins ci these are some of the tools you might be using so that you can have the ci cd setup so what is ci is a continuous integration whenever you merge the merge your code to the developer uh, master branch it is going to be deployed to a particular environment either a staging environment or production environment but how all these things happens that happens because we might be using we already using some kind of a continuous integration tool if your repository is on the github you can use a github actions if your repository is on the gitlab then you can use a gitlab ci so you might be adding some kind of a yml file in your code that is the first thing uh, to have it github uh, jenkins it's maybe a little different maybe some config okay the, this is what you needed for setting up ci cd on your system let's say github actions right i mean it uses this uh, github ci but what you need in your code you need to have the github actions file that is a yml file let's say this is my repository i wanted to add a uh, a github actions either you create manually folders and add the github workflow uh, the workflow is just like okay what all different uh, execution you wanted to run okay and then multiple yml files you can have i'm just configuring the node.js uh, workflow for this and you can see it is giving me this thing and what it is creating if you see the directory structure is dot github folder it is creating similarly in the gitlab there is a dot git gitlab ci dot yml file is getting added to the root in the github it is little different here it is looking for dot github folder inside that you can have workflows and inside that node.js yml you can just put any other name okay like uh, just a ci dot yml anything whatever you wanted to put so this workflow what it is doing is if you try to read this it is a default yml file but it's really information uh, really important to run uh, understand what this yml contains okay so this yml it, it is going to add so there are two events that triggers the workflow on the push and the pull you can see this is the syntax i mean there can be a totally different training segment for understanding the github actions but if you read it you will understand it so here there are two triggers push and pull and uh, we are using virtual environment like ubuntu machine that will happen like when you run it uh, github will uh, instantiate a ubuntu machine for you and the first action is action checkout is a standard that you must include in your workflow what this checkout is doing it is going to check out your latest commit so you are merging your commit to a particular master or developer branch so it will do the checkout that is the first action is to get your the latest version of code so i mean there are multiple actions multiple actions available on the github marketplace which you can use that depends on what you are doing so this checkout will uh, create the environment for and then it will get the uh, environment ready for you and then here what we are doing next is these are the steps these you will see on your ci console okay what are the steps we are running is name is okay this is a basic uh yml file which we can modify also this is the step name okay and then what it is using it is just enabling the cache for the npm and the node version now what we will do what we can do is we can define the multiple steps okay name and uses name and uses 
okay and then i i can modify it right away so what he is the name is use node.js or let's say here we can have multiple steps name and uses okay so i will just do is name i need to have a, some space colon checkout repo and for this the use is uh, space okay what is the uses for this is here we are using this action checkout now there can be another action set up let's say this is the name name and this is the usage and this is using this node version and cache right now there can be another step which is install dependencies so name and uses i can comment this thing otherwise it is invalid so this is the name and here i can say uses is action setup node setup node we can just use let's say v1 so this is the name and this is the uses and that is with with this particular node version okay now there can be another step i mean because ci is full of different steps you will do the installation you will do the run the build you will do the test and all those things checkout repo similarly we can have install dependencies so i will just give a space install dependencies and here it will be using it will run so there are different commands it will you can just specify the command if you wanted to execute and it will do is npm install okay so what's wrong here bad indentation of sequence entry let me just see okay this is bad indentation we need to move it a little bit here this looks fine now and this is run i mean it's a yml so you need to follow the the standard either i could have done this in my vs code that is more easier and then another step is okay i did the npm install what after that run the tests so i can do is npm test then build so there can be another step i mean these commands are already there i'm just organizing them in just a different steps build and here i can just do is npm run build right npm test if present npm run build if present but obviously it will be there this particular script and i can comment this out okay so what we did is we just did uh, defined all these steps i can just uh, add this i can just commit this commit the changes to the main and we will also create a master main branch is already there you can see we pushed it to the main right now if you see i mean currently i don't have these packages and all but you can see something is started running and i can see that in the actions you can see the workflow right i know it will break because uh, we don't have the node setup and all everything nothing is there so what we need to do we need to populate first appropriate code for it and then we will try to push it here you can see the build is running the operation was cancelled okay what is the problem with this one and this one let's see github token permissions secret source prepare workflow or directory prepare all required actions okay unable to resolve this action okay we need to update the yml file something we put the wrong there so github workflows ci.yml and we will edit it so we are what we have placed is uh check out v2 this is actions check out v2 v2 okay this should be the actions so we will edit it this is actions okay similarly this is action setup node okay rest everything looks fine i will do the commit 
on the main branch so i pushed the code so it should be doing the same thing again and i can see something is getting built go to the actions update ciyml and here this build is running and install dependencies i know that there is no package json in this repository right now so it will fail but you can see the steps first it is setting up the job then it is uh, checking out the repository what it is doing it is fetching the latest code using the latest version of uh, 18.x because we are using this action which is going to use the 18.x and going to cache the npm dependencies and then installing the dependencies okay we don't have package json i will try to add some default test and some code and then we can see this so what i'm doing is i'm just copying one some package json and i will create a file here create a new file that we can do directly from here package.json enter content i don't need all these dependencies the all all dependencies i just need a couple of them and here we can just uh, define some tests right currently we don't have the code and all so i will be just doing echo test okay so npm run build we have a couple of commands right npm run build npm install and npm run test so let's say this is build echo build echo test okay i will just push it and it will trigger the workflow again inside the actions we can see we created the package json so it is queued and now it should run all the steps i can just check okay uh, if i have added the scripts correctly or not okay build is fine and you can see the jobs completed right you can see the green check mark why that happened because we just added the the package json and now this is the continuous integration steps on all the the react app or node.js app or any kind of javascript apps because here we are running these actions these actions we are defining through this yml file that is just looking into this yml file and checking okay you did the push and these are the steps i'm going to perform step by step we have documented that and similarly there is a gitlab yml i mean if you have a gitlab account then what we do is similarly we create a gitlab yml i can add that file here i mean obviously it won't be running here but just for an example gitlab ci dot yml and what it contains it contains the basic instructions okay how to proceed when there is a merge request happened on to develop and master okay so gitlab ci is also a somewhat similar what it is having this is a yml file it uses the it is using the node latest and then these are the stages you are going to define so there are stages like build and test and then there is a deploy stage which uh, we have what the deploy stage is doing is so you need to define all these stages on the top and i will explain what it looks like this is just a sample gitlab yml file so whenever you push to a branch i mean to this repository currently we are not specifying any branch right so all these steps will perform stage build test and deploy otherwise what you can do specify is you can also specify a particular branch on which you wanted to execute this so here uh, i think there is a option let's say only and here you can specify the branch is let's say the master or let's say develop okay these are the the steps which will perform on every merge so you don't need to specify the branch but this will happen i mean all these tasks will execute and with this also so on when you merge to the master all these three will execute and deploy will also do this so what it is doing actually if you see there are three stages build test deploy build means it will execute these two scripts test means it will run npm test and deploy means it is going to just synchronize your code synchronize your build output to the remote s3 bucket okay recursively when you merge to the master so it's like a simple uh, gitlab ci yml file for the react app which where react app is deployed to the s3 uh, using s3 cloud front so here you just synchronizing the content to the s3 bucket right 
you will just have save it this is a simple example there can be more complex examples when you have multiple branches and you wanted to define the multiple stages and multiple steps let's say i i wanted to write a simple example and then we will see so here we are specifying the stages so inside the stages we can specify what all we want to execute in the pipeline so let's say here is the version and then we are saying in it initialize the repository tests and deploy so here i will just define each and every stage so first stage is my version right so you can specify the stage name stage name is version and here the script what uh, script you wanted to execute with this so here you will just define uh, I, I just want to print what is my version name and all so i think my indentation may be the problem so node version and who is executing this simple right and then similarly you will define another stage i will just validate this with yml validator like in it inside in it what you will do is a stage is in it i'm going to initialize my repository script npm cache clean so you might be wondering we are we are not doing a code checkout and all so that is already happening uh, through the gitlab we are not specifying any individual step we are just only specifying those things which we wanted to execute after the checkout happens and here i'm doing npm install here also you can do npm run test otherwise you can have a okay we already have a different stage for it so this is in it then we have a stage test so test will just do npm run test npm run test so this is about uh, gitlab ci i will show you maybe i will try to set up this with a gitlab repository then all these steps will execute same as uh, what we have seen in the github actions but this is like a simple a single yml file where you specify all the different steps of what you want to do so let's say if i am just talking about a simple example what i am doing is i can show you the whole example what it is looks like so here we can just use a node latest this is the container image that we are going to use to run all these commands npm run build test all these things so in it run tests and then deploy staging so here it is happening whenever you are actually pushing the code to the master this particular stage will execute that is a deploy it is adding to the heroku and pushing the code to the heroku that's it not nothing much right so similarly we have a circle ci jenkins uh, github actions all these things are known for the ci cd so we are doing continuous integration and then there will be another step of a deploy right here we are doing deployment deployment is not a straightforward it's not about executing the script deployment is like you will be executing some npm script which is deploying to the maybe aws to the heroku to another cloud vendor right or you will be using aws cdk and then you will be just triggering npx run deploy and you will have some script in your code that will take the code to the the remote cloud but you must have a good understanding uh, okay how this ci cd process really works maybe simple react app node.js app how you are deploying the code to the remote okay this is required skills uh, which you can go through i will pro try to provide some examples in my github repository for the github ci uh, and github actions or gitlab 